uh, middle class holes badass of the month. January, we had a kid who uh, defeated the game of Tetris. February, we had a man who got shot in the head and decided to party for 72 to 96 hours uh, <clears throat> for a Brazilian holiday. In the month of February, or the month of March, rather, we got a real barn burner for you. A man who goes into random bars that have pickles uh, <laughs> in presumably giant jars goes bobbing for said pickles. Uh, is America's next, latest supervillain goes around terrorizing New Jersey uh, delis by bobbing for pickles. I'm not going to read into this much more. Well, don't the Jersey uh, delis have pickles in giant like oak barrels? Because uh, that would make it even more epic. Is just like pop the top and just go straight in head first. I I did a control F and typed in oak and I got nothing. So perhaps I'll take your word for it. I can just type in barrel. That why'd you do oak? That's like that's a way too specific. You I got to... one barrels. Let's see here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Picking through. Uh, you're, you're picking through your thinly sliced turkey, maybe a quarter of potato salad, and right before you go to reach in for one of those deliciously crispy sour pickles hanging on these massive barrels. Da da da. That was it. So yeah, this guy. Yeah, he, he uh, goes by. He, he's a monster. He's a menace to society. But he's our middle class holes badass of the month in the month of March. I mean, I would like to do this, but I certainly would not fault a business owner for straight up clocking this. Yeah. Kid in the fucking mouth for rummaging his unscathed face in my fucking pickle barrel. Now, okay, I'm maybe I'm a little ignorant. I'm not a big pickle fan any which way. Um, is pickle brine like I don't know? Is it an anesthetic of some kind? Will it uh, disinfect? Like, does it? Does it? I mean, obviously. Well, and the reason I ask is because like pickles don't seem to like rot in their pickle juice. I, it looks like right. every time I see a jar of pickles, I'm like, but that's been there since 74. Yeah, it's sanitary to that extent. Don't know about your face bobbing in and out of it. And it's also like there, there's the uh, the old trick for athletes if you drink drink to drink pickle juice to uh, not to hydrate. Oh, hydration and, and disinfection <laughs> seems like two different things. This guy is not an athlete. I'm going to tell you, he's not doing this to not have cramps. That's a good point. Yeah. I think the vinegar yeah. really takes care of any disinfectant. Okay. See, that's kind of what I'm getting at here. I like, Look, bottom line is, like, you know, if we live in an era where you can't just have open-air market bullshit lying around like that or somebody's going to stick their face straight in. I mean, you could just claim ignorance. Like, well, what was that? how was I supposed to get it out? I didn't want to put my dirty hands in there. I got to go fish it out with my face. <laughs> hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You want that. We're trying to, be, like, like... We're going we're gonna to vote on this in the end of the year, and uh, this is going to be a hard sell to, uh, to, to match up. I mean, the Tetris guy has got a leg on, on the pickle guy. Yeah. Maybe. Nah. I don't know. For his badass? I mean, I think it's pretty badass to, like, walk in and dunk your face straight into a pickle jar and just— They're calling him a super villain. Oh, I know, but, I mean, there's a thin line, isn't there? I mean, super villains are just, like, one great act away from being superhero. I mean, I guess it depends on where you're bobbing, right? Right, yeah. So it's that uh, you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become a villain. I think that's yeah. what's happening here. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> this, you know. this, guy is, this guy's in that route? Yeah. This guy, because at least this guy is like on full display of what he's doing to that pickle barrel. How many guys are pulling a West Fox Knot Rocket on the way by? Like, <laughs> And you, you're, you're completely unaware where this guy's at least doing like a keg stand to go get his pickle out. And I don't know, is he paying for the pickle? I mean, if, as long as he's dropping some coin on the counter, I mean, it's wrong. And these are, is it New York? Jersey. Okay, well, that's even worse. D New Jersey delicatessen, man, like, you better watch out for some fucking shrapnel coming your way. I have a feeling that one of those guys is going to pull something out. And I was, yeah, I was going to say, these aren't uh, your most, you know, uh, patient of business owners. Yeah, vigilante justice is what they perform, and you might catch a, maybe a little bit of salt-off action in the back if you're not fucking careful. Or just at the least deep-throating one of these puppies. Go, you got it out. <laughs> Bend over. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Frank, you get the front. Pete, you get the back. <laughs> We're going put your, to put your picture in the front. Because you love pickles. Hmm? 
<laughs> Today the pickle's gonna love you. <laughs> That's right. This one's this one's ribbed for your pleasure. 